What's up guys? Welcome back to the shop where we got a quick little project to work on today. As you can see we've got the Bavarian beauty on the floor because uh, we're working on the grips. So the, the thing about these is these big European bikes is that they, you know, the, the memes are true. They are a bit on the expensive side. Especially something as uh, mundane as as your grips, so it's nice having the heated grips there, especially for us because we ride year round, and you know the, that having that heat really helps with your you know riding endurance in cold weather, keeping your hands nice and warm and the joints moving, but they wear out, you know, like any rubber that receives a lot of a lot of friction. You know, your hands are always moving and sliding, especially when you're going off-road on these adventure bikes. Then that can really put a lot of wear and tear on your, on your grips. But they're expensive, especially the Beamer. I, it's, I think I saw 200 north of over $200 just for the throttle side. And it was like another 150 for the, for the clutch side grips. You know, the, the KTM's a little better, but not much. That's still 170 bucks for a pair of grips. So, you know, uh, I don't want to pay that kind of money. And most people don't want to pay that kind of money. So there is a, there is a way around it. It's uh, this stuff right here. This is Cricket Bat Grip. Now, uh... Those of us here in America, you know, we only think of crickets as like the little buggers that make lots of noise at night time in the summer. But, uh, but it's a sport, you know, it's a kind of similar to like baseball, I guess you could say. But, you know, so you get this cricket bat grip, it's a really, it's a stretchy neoprene rubber. It's rather thin but it's quite durable and it's you can get it in all kinds of different colors different textures and this this is gonna save our grips let me show you how so here we go we've got our throttle side grip and you see it's starting to see a little bit of wear it's not too horrible I really did this because of the KTM my KTM grips were worn down to where it was almost showing the the heating element underneath but this is also a preventative measure it'll help with you know keeping the stock grip underneath good and doing this doesn't affect the heat at all and you still get as much heat it takes a little bit longer like maybe another minute to get up to the temp but it doesn't affect how hot it gets you still get plenty toasty so we're gonna start with getting these uh, bar ends off Don't lose your pieces. <laughs> so now we take our rubber grip and then we put that on there. Can I get an idea of how much we want? Put a little tick mark and then Cut it across, just like that. Now the trick of this is getting it on there. Like I said, this is, stuff is super tight and very stretchy. So I put it on here like that and then it will get me started to where I can roll it up. And 
there we go. We got ourselves a nice little condom roll. Now, if you roll it this way, it'll unroll. But if you keep rolling it this way, it'll just roll over and over and over on itself. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to... Slide that on there like that. And then we just roll it over and over. Now we can just bring it back and there's a little bit of give to it. You can kind of slide it back and forth a little bit. But there, that's it. And then stuff doesn't slip. You can give it all the all the pressure you want. And it's nice clean good grip pretty squishy and as soon when this wears out all you got to do is just peel up the edge a little bit get a razor in there and nick it and then throw a new one on and these grips they, you can get them on amazon for i think i paid seven bucks for this one but you can get two packs three packs and that's just in the US. Imagine like the UK, you might have uh, even more available options. Yeah, we just throw a little blue Loctite on there. Stack everything back up. I did it the wrong way. I feel like I did that the wrong way. Oh, there we go. That's being a big dum dum, not paying attention. Like that, that, and then there. There we go. There we go, and job's done, problem solved. And it's all good for another year. See, it? nice and clean. <laughs> I already uh, did this side a few weeks ago, but um, the uh, the sleeve, I only got three grips out of it. So I did both of mine and then one of the wife's. You can see mine. Good, solid. Doesn't need any glue or anything. It sticks to the, everything nice and tight. And yeah, it's a, a grip saver. <laughs> so uh, yeah, thanks for joining me. Quick little trick get you down the road get you going save you a, a boatload of cash 
And uh, yeah, hit that like button. Subscribe if you haven't yet. Tap the notification bell for all the new stuff. And until next time, uh, stay safe, have fun, peace.